purpose of my visit, you know, obviously on my presentation, so to, to bring a little bit more um, knowledge to people. There's a lot of people out there who does not know uh, that the orangutan is still sort of fighting for survival, uh, but also to raise funding, obviously. I mean, we're always in dear, dear need of a lot of funding and um, to be able to go out and actually talk the voice of the orangutan or talk for them and at the same time try and raise a bit of money is very important. Overwhelming because I did not know, you know, you sort of live in your own little world where you sort of like just get on with your job. I know I'm, I'm world famous in Denmark obviously being Danish but I never really thought that anybody in Australia would even know who I was and then I got all these little girls and, and grown-up girls and even older girls uh, coming up to me and so say oh you're my biggest idol and that totally took me by surprise. We try to provide a, a life they would have had with a mother or as closely as they would have. You know, mm. like lo lots of love and attention and, and care when they're very young. Um, up to the age of about seven, they, they are in the forest every day. Uh, surely they get into cages at night. Mm. After that, they move out to islands where they can, can live a little bit more like semi-wild uh, existence uh, before they're released into the wild again. But it's very it's it's a long process and you know because of the lack of funding we get these bottlenecks where some animals end up in cages because we can't handle them and the islands are full and isn't that but it's it's very important that we, we provide them with a life that mimics the life they would have had with the mother you can give you can adopt an orangutan for ten pound uh, ten dollars a month uh, which is of course our favorite uh, uh, gimmick as such you know for, for making people help but if you don't have the money to do that, there are so many things in life that you can do to help, whether it's turning off the electricity, whether it's actually looking at what you put in your mouth, just, you know, buy organic, try and buy things that doesn't have harmful ingredients in it, not just for your body, but also for the environment. Um, and I do think that if we all just do a little bit, mm. it would be a much better world. I think it's very important that consumers have a choice. At the moment, consumers do not have a choice of labeling on, on the products are not clear. And I think that that is something that definitely needs to be changed. So we do have the choice when we're standing with two packages of biscuits. If one says palm oil and one says corn oil or olive oil, we can choose which one we want to take. We know that it does not take everyone in, on earth to bring justice and peace, but only a small determined group who will not give up.